goodness, it is done. Good morning you guys, my name is Akshita and I am a fourth year medical student at UNSW Sydney. Let's start our crazy busy week. Now at the law library, the first thing we're going to do is set up our schedule. First, let's answer some YouTube comments and Instagram comments that you guys have sent to me. And then we get started with my assignments and deadlines in the beginning. Now I'm going to quickly pack up and head to upper campus to have lunch and then we have other meetings to attend. After lunch and a little bit of work on the computer, I head to the main library to get a few printouts that I need for the rest of the week. And I find a really sunny spot in our library lawn to sit and do our, my readings on in the sun. I was just in time to see these kids graduating and that was the coolest thing ever. So in about two months, I have a clinical exam that stands as a barrier for me progressing into next year. So I sit with my friends and do practice weekly, which is what I'm preparing for right now. So it is about 4.51. I am in uni. I am finishing off the last meeting for today, which is a ICE history cases session. We're doing it online today. Hi, my name is Akshita and I am a fourth year medical student. I've been asked to take a medical history from you, which should involve just asking you a few questions about why you've come here. Would that be okay? All uh -huh. right. May I, may I start with your name, please? After taking turns being the doctor, patient and examiner, we head home. Keep in mind that I am in my research year, meaning I have very less lectures and practicals and more time to work on my year-long project independently. Okay, so I did not plan on telling you guys exactly what this is, but I reckon that you will be watching this video by the time I have already started this work, so I think it would be safe for me to speak about this. In November of 2021, I applied to be a UNSW Equity and Access Ambassador. Basically, this role is to use your experiences in admissions and working and navigating to find UNSW as your main university using that experience to help high school students who are in their final years of school learn and understand how they can best utilize the opportunities they have to get the universities they want. So I would be facilitating that as an ambassador. So the job itself, it, it makes me go out on trips to these high schools, especially ones that are in the West. I go and get to meet these students, get to answer their questions, teach them concepts, make them facilitate classes that allow them to understand what their interests may be, where they want to follow as a career path, give them some specific advice for medicine in general, basically the stuff that I do on this channel. 
but to schools in Australia. Super exciting. This is a casually employed job at the university and it is a year long um, tenure. So yeah. <laughs> My application was successful in November. I have been attending a few trainings since. I have a training session today. Yeah, so I've got study material to do um, for the ambassadors. And then I've got a lesson plan. So it's, it's cool stuff. And I'm so excited for this, but yeah. I sit and do a little bit of last minute readings to make sure that I am well prepped for my first training session. Gotta make a better first impression. Hopefully in the next few weeks I can get permission to film the inside stories of these events. But until I get that, make sure to subscribe to this channel right now so you don't miss out those videos where I show my ambassador's weeks. For now, here's my reaction right after. Okay, I am, it is about 2.57. I am back in med building to do my work. Wow, that training program was so cool. I don't know, it's just, it was cute because it reminded me of a time when I was choosing med and things were going very stressful but also really exciting because I managed to get into medicine and it's like we're coming to uni oh it's so good you can tell I'm super excited <laughs> so those are going to be the t-shirts we gotta wear at every school that we attend so people can recognize us visually and I am so excited <laughs> So my supervisors are going to be checking how well I have fared with my research on Thursday and that's why I need to keep working on it day and night. The stress is building! Okay, um, it's 6.59. There, 6.59. I am so done. Like, I have no energy anymore. I don't know why my leg hurts a lot. Probably because it's starting to get cold. I'm having a headache. My stomach is hurting. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but I'm in no position to be in uni anymore. Um, it's like I've been working non-stop since morning and it's still not enough. It's never enough. Let's get home. Let's get home. Oh, this day just did not start right. I woke up absolutely late, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I did not complete my work the previous night. It was tons colder, so I had to remove my woolens. Ugh. Oh, and I had never noticed how giant this tree was next to uni. Not able to focus, so I decided to listen to a podcast to try and refresh my mind, but no use. But it really wasn't working, and so I decided to journal to try and get my thoughts out, but I wasn't able to focus. What I didn't realize was that the stress was building so much that I was losing focus on things because I was purely panicking about my work. And so I just decided to just go home.
It's very interesting how when the deadline's approaching, my brain never says, oh my God, the work needs to be done. My brain will find other stressors and magnify them. And the words that go in my head are, how are you this distracted? Why did you do that one thing wrong? How are you still hung up on this person? How are you not doing this right? And so I take so much time to actually identify that it is just the work stress and not something wrong with my identity that I need to deal with. Clearly some work needs to be done. It is currently 9.30 at night. So all in all, the last I was working and studying was at 12 in the afternoon at uni. So since 12, all the way to 9.30 at night, I have not done my work. It's, it's, it's necessary for me to show this because I am very aware that I come across as much more productive and dedicated than I feel I am because you get to see seven minutes worth of a video from seven days worth of a week. <laughs> the deadline doesn't shift by seven to eight hours just because I didn't work for seven to eight hours. And coincidentally, tomorrow turns out to be the longest and the most testing day of the week. Now I'm going to have to stay up overnight to sit and get through my work and make up for the time I've lost. <sighs> anyway, I hope that those hours of crying was worth it because I got a few video ideas. <laughs> Let's see it started. The stress was still there, but at least I was in a focused mode this morning. But that couldn't last long because I had to stop it and I had a second ambassador training session to attend today. Once I finished, I rushed up to the med building and sat down to prepare. Okay, so much is happening all at once. I'm like losing my crap. So, we it is about it is exactly two o'clock right now i have a meeting in exactly one hour with three of my research supervisors which is nuts because very rarely do we have all three of them together um i'm supposed to present my search strategies to them show them how i have progressed with my research work so far and i am freaking out because there is so much to do I, so now i'm just gonna sit and complete all of the things that i feel like i need to do um, gather my thoughts, make sure I ask all the right questions. It, this meeting will last an hour um, and then we will go and um, rush to the hospital just down the road uh, because I have a class at five o'clock then. So, um, <clears throat> okay. Not only do I have to show them my research, I show it to them in the form of a presentation. So I had to create that after finishing my work. But yeah, it, it went well. The research went well. Um, the, they understood my points. They understood my questions. Um, they seem happy. Um, no, I'm going to stop doing this self-doubting thing. They were happy. They were happy with my work. Oh my God, it's done. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it is done. It is done, done, done. Oh God, I can't believe I got through that. I got through it that those two days of staying up late, crying, wasting two, what, seven hours, it's over. Yes, until two weeks, it's over. Oh my God. <laughs> so that is, oh yeah. So that's my hospital, by the way. That building there, that building there, and this building here. That, that three buildings are all my prince of wales hospital that that building is getting constructed which will be done by the time i graduate how annoying oh my god that was so good that was so good <laughs> okay yes let's do this our day is still not over so let's head to the hospital
Before that though, let's grab some lunch because I absolutely did not eat this afternoon. Okay, I have literally got exactly half an hour to learn this thyroid examination. Let's do this. This is me practicing the thyroid examination that I might be asked to perform onto a patient. Didn't help because the doctor actually threw a curveball at me and asked me to do a gastrointestinal exam instead. So, um, well. Now, each of these sessions are about two hours long, in which we see about two to three patients. One of us takes a history, and that is learn about their condition, whereas one of us does an examination to check what signs their body shows. And then we summarize this to our doctor to show up what we think the issue should be. And then we'd follow up with discussion on what the causes could be. Yeah. We should save some foods, we some more foods. Gilbert's disease as well cause sometimes um, some infections can cause blood hemolysis. Malaria. Malaria can. Oh. Yes, severe disease. Um, Arbogar can as well. The physician's exams are really cool to watch. I've got to see one of them before. We are in Prince of Wales. It's night time. It's 6.28. Uh, we just finished our last class for the day. We're officially done. I am with my classmates. We have Lakshman there, we have Arya there. Okay, so how did it go? It was it was really interesting. I think we saw many new cases. Uh-huh. But hematology, oncology. Many new cases. Yeah, like yeah. Two. <laughs> Basically, they take, took turns with examinations and... <laughs> I'm gonna put that into the video for no. sure! <laughs> no! taking breakfast and coffee but we are not going to go to the law library because we have something to do in the quadrangle so i'm going to take you a little bit up a campus but i'll take a different route so you get to see more of the campus let's go clinical examination practice on Monday. We do a similar thing on Friday but this is in person and we test each other's knowledge. So that's what I'm creating a presentation for. Okay, um, I'm just done with my vaccination. It was a flu vaccine. Um, have to get it done as a healthcare worker, as anybody. Make sure to get your flu vaccines. And that was very quick. But I'm gonna have to wait here for 10 minutes and make sure I'm fine. And then we'll get up and go and do our next work. It's interesting how same time last year, I was here checking and monitoring for people sitting here for their allergic potential allergic reactions, which is interesting. <laughs> um, it was a fun job, but anyway. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait here, bask in the sun, it's so cold today, and get on with our work. Almost done. Almost done. I then come to the main library to sit and do video editing for you guys. I would rather love to do this on a Wednesday or Thursday, but when busy weeks are there, it does get pushed off. And then I take some breaks in the retreat space that our library has. It is such a cute little spot.
after a while I put a little bit of a pause to the video editing because we have to grab lunch and then attend a second research meeting. It's not that heavyweight though because I'm only being taught stuff. Alright. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind then. If I'm doing this, dot mp probably doesn't look through mesh. I mean, sorry, the subject heading. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are done with our second research meeting. Oh my goodness, that was so useful. That was so useful. Oh my god, so helpful, so helpful. Okay. It is 3.50. I spent some time talking to my mom and my sister. Now I'm going to go take the trek to lower campus. Should I do that now or should I go later? At this point, I was starting to slightly feel weak from the vaccine side effect. So I decided to get myself something nice to eat and not compromise on that. Then I finished the ice practice with my friends and here I am heading home. We're done with our studies. I've still not finished my video editing. Oh, there's so much to do, there's so much to do, <laughs> there's so much to do. Needed to get some essentials, so did a little bit of shopping on the way back home. It's 9.24 p.m. I finished eating, but I'm also so exhausted. Like, I feel so tired, I don't want to finish a sentence. But my brain is in overdrive. It is running and replaying scenarios and thinking, did I do the right thing? Did I not? How did that interaction play out? Why am I feeling this way? Should I be working on it? <laughs> This is exactly how my brain feels 90% of the time. Definitely some work to be done there. At this point, I kind of fell asleep, but do you really think I'm going to cram all my deadlines in one week to not have an amazing celebration after? I hope you guys loved this video. And if you did, make sure to like it, share it around and comment down below and tell me what the best part was. And make sure to subscribe because the next few weeks is gonna be really cool. But until next week, 